Well, hello, my YouTube friends. Uh, it's one o'clock in the morning. I just watched a video from someone who shall remain nameless. It's titled Biggest Loser. It's about a Carson City uh, Morgan that he sent in or that he broke out of a, a PCGS holder and sent it in, was hoping to get a better grade was hoping to get a proof like grade. Was hoping to get a dimple. Uh, didn't get it. So was obviously disappointed and uh, made the mistake of, of buying a coin, uh, paying too much for a coin, you know, getting excited about a coin. And I've done that. Okay, for example, this coin right here. And. 220 was the list price. I think I paid 200 or 190 or something like that. And uh, it looks real nice. And I took it back to the shop a couple days ago because the other Morgan Dollar with the, uh, the real pretty toning color from the other video... I ended up sending that in to get graded. And I took this one with me to ask uh, Jared's opinion of whether I should have this one graded. And he looked at it and he's like, well, I mean, I don't know, not really if it's worth it or not. And I asked him if this would, if it's been cleaned. And he looked at it and I knew the answer would be yes, and he literally goes, "Yeah, most likely it's you know it's going to come back with with a cleaned grade." And so I said, "All right, well, you know, yeah, don't don't send it back." Um, but it, to me, it's in the price range of a coin that could be graded, and you can see the detail on it, All right? But then the dreaded cleaned <laughs> right or the dreaded details and the the right wing you know on our left the wing tip is a little bit worn all right so i said no i just kept it no i'm not going to send it in but the other one even though they both thought it would be like fake toning i sent that one in anyway so we'll see what happens with that one but uh, the point of this video was because I just watched the other video about someone that had hoped to get a, a dimple grade on a coin that he paid a lot of money for and a, and a dimple grade, you know, a 64 dimple would, you know, have a list price high enough to uh, for him to make a profit. And uh, when it came back, it was a 63 and so, you know, very disappointed. And so, you know, I thought about that and I thought about my own collection, of which we're looking at a couple of them right here. And so my, uh, and what I thought is that a person should only buy coins that he, he or she would be happy to own. Now, granted, you know, coin dealers and people that buy and sell and do a lot of that, okay, they're going to have a different perspective. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm not opposed to selling some of my coins, and I may or may not be reigning a table at an upcoming coin show. But if any of my coins don't sell... And, you know, right, and right, like the advice on this one, no, it's been cleaned. You're going to get a cleaned grade from it. You know, you're going to get, it's going to be horrible if you send it in. <laughs> like, okay, well, I still think it's an amazing barber quarter. And your opinion may vary. I mean, it looks beautiful everywhere. It might be AU, almost uncirculated you know in my ignorance i don't know i'm looking for at the high spots on the wingtips 
And both wingtips have a little wear, but the shield, you see like right there how it goes, how the top half of the shield right there is dark, but then it's a little bit brighter right there. All right, it's top half dark, top half bright. So the shield has a lot of metal left. The tail has a lot of metal left. The leaves on the olive branch, or whatever branch that is, right? The arrows. I'm at full mag right now. Right? So even if the advice is, you know, don't send it in, you know, you won't be happy with the grade that comes back, and like, okay, I I love this coin. It, it's beautiful. I'm still in a position in my coin collecting journey, as it were, that I'm buying coins that I find have a lot of eye appeal, coins that I think are beautiful, right? All these coins I bought with an eye to just keep, to just look at and just admire and just every now and then get them out and look at them. Right, only recently have I thought of, of having them graded. And so I was looking at the best one. So this one I paid 45 bucks for 1880s. 1880s is like the most common Morgan dollar ever created. <laughs> so it's a forty dollar coin. But look how beautiful it is. What if I spent another forty dollars trying to get a MS whatever? You know, and then it comes back, and I didn't get that, so, you know, that I'm, like, totally disappointed. I don't care. I'm at a point in my journey, which is different than other people's, granted. Other people have different goals for their coin collecting. And so if, if your goal is to sell and make money then you have to be very careful and you have to really know what you're doing, right? Which I don't. And my goal is not that, right? I'm not opposed to selling these and making money, but that wasn't my goal when buying them. My goal was just to simply enjoy them. And so if they come back with the grade, I'm, I'm happy no matter what the grade is when they come back. Right, if I get stuck with them, as it were, I'm still happy. Right, because look at that thing. How could you not be happy looking at that? I mean, this one's got that amazing amount of grime, right? the amazing the patina. So, anyway. If you're if you're want to hear a, a rookie's advice, then just buy coins that you would love to own. Just buy coins that if no one else wants them, you still want them. And that way you'll always be happy. Alright, my friends, you have a good day.